guys, and then O Canada, and then we're done. Then you go tweet. Manitoba Colleges Athletic Conference home openers. Assiniboine Community College campuses are located on the traditional territories of Treaty No. 1 and Treaty No. 2 and the shared traditional lands of the Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, Dene, and Anishinaabe Ojibwe people and the home of the Métis Nation. We acknowledge their welcome to the students who seek knowledge here. And now for tonight's volleyball games featuring Université de Saint Boniface, Les Rouges, and your Assiniboine Community College Cougars. The starting lineup for the visiting Les Rouges is captain number one, Jacqueline Carson. Libero, 16, Matea Lucier Bouliero. Number two, LJ Cadu. Number seven, Kira Talega. 17, Michelle Prege. 19, Janique Larivière. Number 17, Razan Haj Hassan. The head coach for Les Rouges is Evan Turin. Tonight's lineup for the Assiniboine Community College Cougars. Number one, Kira Virgo. Number two, Brooke Schoonbart. Number four, Kylie Peak. Number seven, Lexi Brown. Number nine, Ryan DeGroot. Number 12, Jordan Bradbury. And number 13, Marie Dunster. The head coach for the Cougars is Kevin Newfeld. <laughs> Running the match is head official Ron Suchuk, second official Ken Tate, line judges Paige Donald and Nikki Semner. Now would you please rise if you are able for the Canadian National Anthem. Oh, sorry. Have a great match.
you are just tuning in, we've got the home openers for the Assiniboine Community College Cougars versus the reigning MCAC champions, the La Rouge. They have represented Manitoba at the National Conference Championships in uh, the last two years, actually, ever since the MCAC has joined the CCAA. La Rouge off to serve. Schoonbart to the line. The ball's deep. Jacqueline Carson cannot handle it. The ball ricochets off the roof. It's an ace for Schoonbart. They've shifted over. See what they can do. Talega again. This time a good pass. They go to the middle. Dug up by Le Rouge. Try the right side. Schoonbart with the dig. Ryan DeGroote tries her best. Cougars cover it. To the middle. LaRouge putting up a good block. Schoonbart just dumps it over there, but LaRouge picks it up. DeGroote gets the kill. Cougars had some good coverage on the block. St. Boniface putting up a solid wall there. Got Kylie Peak back at the line for the Cougars. It's a good ball. And she aces the LaRouge libero. serving for the Cougars. It's another good driving float. They try the middle this time. They just squeak that through the block. We've got Prejay to the line. That. Okay, we go to the middle. It's a good defensive dig there by Preje. Middles aren't known for their defense, but she got it. Oh, and that ball is out. Ryan DeGroote on the right side, just out. Le Rouge middle. Preje is serving. It's a 
short ball. Cougars recover. Le Rouge go to the middle. Bataj Hassan with a quick kill in the middle. Preje is still serving for Le Rouge. It's a good pass. Goes right back out to her. Le Rouge, ooh. Official Ron Sushak calls the double hit on Le Rouge. Kira Virgo back to serve for the Cougars. That ball goes long. This is LJ Kadu. Her sister, Keisha, is one of the assistant coaches for Le Rouge and was also an alumni. And Kadu with the ace just pegs that back line. Another driving serve, but that ball goes long. Cougars have Ryan DeGroote to the service line. That ball comes right back over. Schoonbart goes outside. Bradbury can't put it away. Le Rouge dig. Oh, Brown, the one-handed, tried to get it back into the court, but that ball goes off her arm and out. Le Rouge captain Jacqueline Carson at the service line. Grabber at the pass. Go step on the outside to Dunster. She can't put that away. Cougars scrambling a little bit here. Le Rouge goes outside. Just a roll shot. Bradbury easily picks it up. Marie tries to dump that over. Bradbury trying off, off hands though, but Kadu picks it up. Ooh, long ball. Suchuk says no touch on that. That's a point for the Cougars. Bradbury back to the line. Almost touches the roof, but not quite. Le Rouge give the Cougars a free ball. It goes to a step around to Dunster. Oh, a little roll shot by Peak scores for the Cougars. Cougars have had some really good uh, defensive coverage off that block. Never giving up, converting those balls. Bradbury back to line. for Bradbury. She's a practical nursing student from Verdon, Manitoba. Bradbury puts that ball up the sideline. Gives Le Rouge an easy one. We've got Haj Hassan heading back to line. That ball's almost short, picked up by Bradbury, goes to middle, Dunster. Ooh, Kiddo almost got there, but that scores for the Cougars. Dunster back to the line. for Dunster. She's a product of Esther Hazy, Saskatchewan, and is taking the college's carpentry and woodworking program. Another little spinner, scores again for Dunster. Bit of an unorthodox approach there, sort of a float approach, but she puts a little spin on it and it's throwing La Rouge off.
That one goes into the net. La Riviere back to the line for Le Rouge. Peak with a good pass, back out to Peak. Great dig by Le Rouge, but they cannot convert it. Setter Schoonbark back to line. She's one of three returning athletes on the women's volleyball lineup. Carson with a great pass there. Make that work. A bit of an interesting rule there. Um, when you go under the line, you have to go completely under with a hand or a foot to get called in volleyball. Le Rouge with a timeout. Back at it, 15-13 for the Cougars, and Schoonbart is back to the line. It's a good deep float. Goes outside to Cadu. Dug up by Peak to DeGroot. Back to Cadu. She seeks that one just between the block and the net. Talega back to line for La Rouge. It's a good float serve. Bradbury cannot handle it. That's an ace. It's got to be five aces for Talega. She puts that ball long. Kylie Peak back to the line for the Cougars. That ball goes into the net, returns the favor to La Rouge. Preje back to the line. Deep float handled by Brown. Back to DeGroot. Just a tip scores right to the floor. It's a good play by Ryan DeGroot. Typically, middle players are specialists in the front row and not backcourt defense, so giving her a little tip there is difficult for a middle to get to. That ball comes over. Dunster decides to pass it, goes outside. Bradbury puts the ball away. Virgo at the line. La Rouge gives us a free ball. Goes right side to DeGroote. She cuts that back, scores. Virgo still at the line. She's also in practical nursing. 
she gets an ace. And Le Rouge call their second timeout down four points. Official Ron Suchek climbing the ladder here. We've got Kai, er, sorry, Kira Virgo at the line. Ball goes outside to Carlson. Kadu with a big swing handled by Peek. And Carson puts that through the block. Kadu back to line for Le Rouge. That ball goes long. Those errors late in the game are really tough pill to swallow. Got Ryan DeGroote, local Brandon product. Carson swings, picked up by Peek. Oh, Schoombart gets a sneaky little set over the net there. Almost didn't get away with it, but she's a little bit lucky she did. Got DeGroote back at the line. She's a media and communications student here at the college. And she gets the ace. Cougars two away from taking the first set. A ball's good pass. Outside to Captain Carson. Ooh, that's... I believe Suchek's going to call a back row attack on that. If you're swinging from the back row, you have to stay behind that three-meter line. DeGroot was just a toe over. Le Rouge Carson to the line. And that ball goes long. That gives Cougars set point with Bradbury heading to the line. Returns the favor. The Rouge still in this. Haj Hassan is to the line for the Cougars. Let's see if they can take this set. Nice easy ball to Brown. Goes middle to Dunster with a great tip again. Back to that middle blocker serving and the Cougars take the first set 25-19.
All right, we are back. We've got a great start for the Cougars. It's a good way to start their season. Um, volleyball is a best of five, so they will have to back it up with two more sets. Looks like La Rouge have made a couple of changes to their lineup. Um, middle Gabrielle Brisebois is in. It goes right side. Good dig by Cadu. But official Suchuk calls the double hit on La Rouge. Dunster back to line for the Cougars. Talega couldn't quite handle that little spinner from Dunster. It's an ace. Another spinner just dropped short. Le Rouge really struggling with that. It's just dropping right in front of them. Dunster still at the line. It's a better ball. Sutter tries to put it over. Cougars recover outside to peak. Dug up easily by Carson. Scrambling a little bit from La Rouge. Schoonbart with that just that second contact dump. She gets the point. Dunster still serving. It goes outside. Preje dug up by Dunster. And they try middle this time. Brisebois. Kadu sets outside out of system. Cougars recover. Goes outside. And Le Rouge called on the net. I believe that was their setter, 19 La Riviere. Cougars up 5 0 to start this set. It's another tough serve. Le Rouge give us free ball. And they run quick middle. Kira Virgo with a 51 in the middle. And Dunster still serving for the Cougars. The Rouge have changed to a four person serve receive. Try and cut their lanes down. For Dunster's serve, she's still just getting them. And coach Evan Turin calls a timeout for Le Rouge. libero and Dunster finally misses a serve gives Le Rouge a chance here it 
LaRouche, Sutter, La Riviere, back serve. It's a good float deep. And Lexi Brown can't handle it. That goes off the roof, La Rouge point. serving two aces on Brown. Cougars go four across again, cutting down those lanes. So they're just moving up and down the court, not side to side quite as much. DeGroote with a pretty good pass. Out to Peak. she puts that in the net. Cougars point, Sutter, Schoonbart back to serve. That ball goes long. Le Rouge to Lega back to serve. Cougars have struggled to pass, just got a driving float serve. Let's see if they can turn it out. Great pass, goes right side. That ball is called in. Just that deep corner, that's a really tough ball to defend. Kylie Peak back to serve for the Cougars. Le Rouge really struggling on serve receive. They can't convert that ball. Kylie Peak serving again. And another service ace. Le Rouge Shutter sort of got there, but it's a carried ball at the net. Peak serving, she is from Major Pratt High School in Russell, Manitoba. Great driving float serve. Catches that sideline. Another ace for the Cougars. And Le Rouge call another timeout as they lead, Cougars lead 13-5. has taken their two timeouts. You get two timeouts per set, and they have burned them both. We're about halfway through the set. Coach Turin probably trying to break up again. The Cougars serve, cut the runs. They handle that one. Go right side to Kadu, but she puts that into the tape. Kylie Peak still serving for the Cougars. Carson, decent pass, but they give him a free ball. 
I think Le Rouge, they really, uh, they're struggling here to convert, scrambling. That should have been an easy free ball over, but put it into the net. They got to make a change here. A ball goes outside to Carson, but she puts it into the tape. Easy points for the Cougars. Unforced errors. Cougars making a sub here. Newfeld might be getting the roster in as they're leading fairly. Just a little roll shot that gets up. And Carson does convert. Number 10, Brisebois back for Le Rouge. Back to Bradbury, it's a tight ball. She cannot convert that. It's a tough ball. Breeze Boss still serving. Le Rouge try middle, Cougars block it. That's Gifford at the net with the block. Cougars give him a free ball. Let's see if Le Rouge can convert side out. They go middle. And Haj Hassan puts that into the tape again. Unforced errors are really hurting Le Rouge. Kira Gifford to the line for the Cougars. She was just subbed in. The ball's long. Le Rouge give the Cougars a free ball. Not a great pass, goes outside. Bradbury tries to save it. Good coverage by the Cougars. Unforced error there. Le Rouge get a bit of a break. Cadu back to the line. Got to be a little bit of mental toughness playing into it for Le Rouge. Making a lot of errors. And the Cougars are eating it up. De Groot back to the line. Oh, she returns the favor with a miss serve. Le Rouge making a double sub here. Setter La Riviere coming out. For Ransom and Cadu coming out for Greasley. Usually coaches do that, so you have a setter back row and three attackers in the front row. The ball's just pushed a little bit far. Bradbury can't quite get it back through the antenna. Ball has to cross in between the antennas to be live. And Le Rouge Carson back to the line. Schoonbart tried to force the middle to Dunster there, but the ball was a little bit behind her head, so that ball goes long. And Michelle Omond coming in for Brooke Schoonbart. This is a double sub again. Second year setter. Bree Mulligan coming in for Ryan DeGroote. Carson still serving for Le Rouge. Brown handles that pretty easy. Mulligan puts that outside to Oman, covered. But Cougars cannot convert. La Rouge is going on a bit of a run here. The Cougars have to cut that. They've got a pretty good lead, but they want to keep that. Peak with a good ball. Again, the force to the middle. 
Dunster tips that over, and Le Rouge capitalized. It was Talega from the left side. The spread is only five points now. Try right side. That's a great shot by Bradbury. Just cross court, right to zone one. And Bradbury back to line. Bit of a miss hit there by Bradbury. It goes into the net. Cougars Haj Hassan, or sorry, Le Rouge has Haj Hassan is back to the line. It's a good short serve. Great pass by Brown. It goes outside. Peak, but covered. Le Rouge with a block. Goes right side. Again. And Cougars get the block. It's Marie Dunster in the middle. Dunster goes back to serve. Coach Turin telling them to step up a little bit. This is that serve that sort of drops. It's got a bit of a spin. And they were still a little deep. Miscommunication by the Cougars. They give a free ball. Typically, you don't want your setter. Oh, Kylie Peak hits an overpass. Typically, you don't want your setter taking those free balls. Dunster back to serve. It's a good pass by Le Rouge. They go to the middle, but that's dug by Dunster. And Peek with a little roll shot, easily picked up. Oh, miscommunication, Le Rouge. And the setter took the ball, and Le Rouge was unsure who was taking that second contact. Give the Cougars a little present there. Dunster is still back to serve, three points away from the second set victory. Again, a little bit of a miscue, goes to the middle, forced. Cougars pick it up, Oman. Setter takes the ball. And I think a bit of a miscue again by uh, the Le Rouge who was taking that second ball when Setter's out. Ultimately, an uh, error there out the back line. And Dunster's still serving. And that ball goes into the net. Ransom serving for Le Rouge. That ball is long. Set point for the Cougars, Michelle Oman back to the line. She's a culinary arts student from Cross Lake, Manitoba. It's a good pass. A little tip over handled by Brown. Good shot, lands just in Kylie Peak. That gives the Cougars the second set, 25-15.
Welcome back to the Cougars home opener in the Manitoba Colleges Athletic Conference. We are playing the St. Boniface Les Rouges. They are the reigning MCAC champions. They've represented Manitoba at the last two national championships. And they are down two sets. And it looks like Coach Chirin has made almost a complete lineup change. He is looking for something different. Cougars have a few change-ups here. We've got a second, uh, second year Bree Mulligan will be setting. And Georgia Cords is back in the left side position. There's Peak. Goes a right side to Dunster. I'm not sure. The referee Suchek says there was touch on that. So Cougars get the point. Ransom needing some tape on Les Rouge. There's just a bit of a delay. Mulligan with a great serve. La Rouge cannot convert. Mulligan back to serve. And La Rouge give us a free ball. From middle to Dunster. That ball is touched, lands in the backcourt. Mulligan back to serve. Again, another ace. It's a deep driving float, just corner to corner for Mulligan. Four points in, and Coach Turin making a sub. Kadu in for ransom. Mulligan puts that ball just long. And Boyko back to serve for Les Rouge. Again, they've made a lot of change ups. Coach Turin can't be happy about that last set, so he's given some new players a chance here. DeGroote jumping back a bit, puts that ball out the sideline. Boyko serving for La Rouge. That ball is a miss hit. That goes under the tape point for the Cougars. Kylie Peak back to serve. She's a business administration student from Russell, Manitoba. That was Hefferman from the left side for Le Rouge. Got a good top spin on that ball. Couldn't, Brown couldn't handle it for the Cougars. And this is Brisebois back to serve for Le Rouge. Good pass by Brown. Right side to DeGroote. She pegs that just between the blockers and the net for the point. And Dunster back to serve for the Cougars. She's got that spinner again, just dropped right in front of LaRouge. Passing line there. They've got to step up, be prepared to take that ball with their hands. Another service ace for Dunster. I don't have statistics on me, but I would guess she's got eight aces in the last two and a half sets. Le Rouge give us a free ball. Mulligan gives it to the middle. That's Virgo gets blocked at the net. Kadu back to serve. What's 
that ball into the tape. DeGroot back to line for the Cougars. Force the middle. That's Martin Ilunga. She puts that ball long. DeGroote still serving for the Cougars. The Roos get a good pass. And Brown almost digs it, but can't quite handle it. That was Hefferman from the left side. She got a good top spin on that ball. Hefferman back to serve. Another ball into the net. And Cougars Georgia Cords heads to the line. She's an agribusiness student from Grandview. She gets the ace. It's a good dig by the Cougars. Pete can't quite convert. Sends that ball long. is Felicia Martin Ilunga back to serve for Le Rouge. That ball is into the net again. The Rouge is playing some better defense. Serve receives a little bit better, but they're just shooting themselves in the foot a little bit with those missed serves. Kira Virgo back to line for the Cougars. She returns that favor. A lot of miss serves by both teams, but a lot of aces as well. If your ace to error ratio is one to one or better, it's not too bad. Greasley back to line for Le Rouge. Peak handles that back to Peak, but she puts that ball into the net. is a setter for Le Rouge. She's at the service line. Nice little float. Goes outside again to peak, and she goes off of Cadu's hands for the kill. Bree Mulligan to the line for the Cougars. She's in the college's so social service worker program and is from Brandon, Manitoba, attended Neyland High School. Mulligan put that ball long. And Boyko goes to the line for Le Rouge. She gets the ace on cords. Cougars still got a bit of a league here. It's a good ball by Peak. Ryan DeGroote. That ball goes just out the sideline. Boyko still serving. Le Rouge trying to close that gap. Peak takes that ball high. Back to Peak. She makes up for it. Gets that cross court kill from the right side. Peak back to serve. Le Rouge. Right side to Kadu. Mulligan gets a hand on it. Cords with a little roll shot to the pot of Le Rouge scores. Kylie Peak back to serve. Nice float serve. That's an ace for Kylie Peak. Kira Talega 
Had a great serve the first two sets, but she is now the libero for Les Rouges as coach Evan Turin doesn't like that spread, calls timeout. Peak serving for the Cougars. She makes a good driving float. That's an ace for Peak on Talega. Another tough ball. Picked up by the Cougars outside to Cords. She can't convert. She couldn't quite get an approach on it. Puts that into the tape. We've got L. Snyder coming in for Kylie Peak. L. Snyder is one of the three returning student athletes on the women's volleyball team. With Bree Mulligan and Brooke Schoonbart. Good pass by Brown to middle Dunster. Picked up pretty easily by Le Rouge. The ball was taken defensively by the setter. That second contact went wide and they could not, Le Rouge could not put the ball back in as a free ball. Just again, miscommunication. And here's Dunster to line. Le Rouge recover and somehow get a free ball. They force the middle. Oh. Talega just a little overexcited maybe on that one. Tried to put the ball nice and high, give her teammates some time, but it hit the roof. And Coach Turin calls his second timeout. have called their two timeouts. They're down by eight. Cougars have five points to take this game. Dunster at the line. And lines judge Paige Donald, an alumni of the Cougars, calls that ball out. Point Cougars. Boykel tried to save that ball, but it was just too far out of bounds. Couldn't put it between the antenna. It's a good pass. They run the middle. But Les Rouge are on the net. It's a violation. And now we've got a sub. Brie Mulligan coming out for Ava Plamondon. Ryan. 
A little confusion. They just need a floor captain as Bree Mulligan came off, so Ryan DeGroot is serving as floor captain. Dunster still serving. Boyko, oh, L. Snyder has a bit of a, a bit of a mix up there in the backcourt, but uh, Ryan DeGroote chased that down pretty well. They couldn't transition that. And Ransom coming back in for Kadu to serve. It's a good serve. She did her job. Nice driving float right in the seam, and L. Snyder could not quite pass that ball. It's an ace. See if Ransom can do it again. Good ball. Let's see if Le Rouge convert into the middle, and they do. It's a quick attack from Le Rouge middle. They're just trying to chip away, get some momentum in this final set. Let's see if they can take it. Again, it's a best of five. Cougars up two sets to none. Ransom puts that ball into the net. We've got Ryan DeGroot back serve for the Cougars. Two points to sweeping the reigning MCAC champions. In the first ball, that is in. Just pegged that line. And this could be it. The Cougars' third set, final point. That is three sets in a row. It's a great start for the Cougars home opener against the reigning MC.
traditional territories of Treaty No. 1 and Treaty No. 2 and the shared traditional lands of the Cree, Oji Cree, Dakota, Dene, and Anishinaabe Ojibwe peoples and the homeland of the Métis Nation. We acknowledge their welcome to the students who seek knowledge here. And now for tonight's volleyball games featuring Université de saint Boniface les rouges and your Assiniboine Community College Cougars. The starting lineup for the visiting Les Rouges is number 11, Mark Grant. Number 19, Alexis Chartier. Number 5, Noah Wime. Number 8, Alex Dome. Number 12, Matthias Clark. Number 17, Kaylin Nordic. And number 20, Remy Hua. The head coach for Les Rouge is Connor Markenstein. And the starting lineup for your Cinnaboyne Community College Cougars. Number 10, Noah Barcelona. Number 9, Josh Lintot. Number 3, Justin Halkett. Number four, Brad Gertzen. Number five, Aiden McSimons. Number seven, Zane Dick. Number one, <laughs> Zane Dick. Uh, sorry, number 18, Austin Steele. Number 11, Dante Wilson. And next game, the Cougars will actually line up numerically. The head coach for the Cougars is Dan Ashfield. And the head official today is Ken Tate. Second official, Ron Suchuk. Lines judges, Paige Donald and Nikki Semler. Now would you please rise if you are able for the Canadian National Anthem. openers for the men's volleyball Manitoba College's Athletic Conference season. Les Rouges versus the Assiniboine Community College Cougars. We've got Alex Stone starting at the service line for Les Rouges. He starts the game off with a gift for the Cougars. Miss serve goes into the net. 
Captain Noah Barcelona back to serve. Goes outside to left side. Zane Vick with a huge block on the right side for the Cougars. Barcelona back to serve. It's received well. They tried to force the middle, but a bit of mistiming there for Le Rouge. Point Cougars. Barcelona with a spinner. That goes over, overpass to Wilson. Second contact to the middle. Zane Dick. Zane Dick with a cross court attack off the block and down. Cougars coming out swinging, leading 4 0 to start the match. It's received well, goes right side. That is a touch off the block. Point for the Cougar, or er, sorry, point Le Rouge. Wilson stays on the right side, Zane Dick, that goes off hands, received easily. Back outside to Nordic. It's off the block. Austin Steele, little roll shot, doesn't score. It's a pipe ball, and Noah Barcelona. Just a roll shot from the back court scores for the Cougars. Aiden McSimmons back to the service line for the Cougars. They force the middle, Le Rouge. Gertzen gets a hand on it. They go right side. Again, a good touch at the net by the Cougars. They force the middle. Gertzen with a tip to the pot. Scores for the Cougars. McSimmons back to the line. Low float serve, easily handled. Outside. That ball goes into the bottom of the tape. Nordic can't make a count. Mark Stein calls a timeout for Le Rouge at 7-1. Spins 
serve. Goes outside. The point is put to the floor by Nordic for Le Rouge. And we mate back to the service line. Service error and point for the Cougars. Austin Steele back to serve. Nordic again goes for that cross court shot but doesn't quite get there. Hits the tape. That's four contacts for Le Rouge. Side again to Nordic. And picked up, covered, but Le Rouge have a carried ball. Can't convert that point. Cougars off to a solid start here. It's 12 3. Try and force the middle. Barcelona gets a hand on it. And Cougars give a free ball to Le Rouge. Nordic sides that ball out. And Nordic back to serve. Spin serve, pretty easily handled by Steele. Out to Barcelona. It's a big swing from the left side. Brad Gertsen back to serve. As LaBarrel, Halkett, and uh, McSimmons change back out. It's a pipe ball. Oh, Gertsen couldn't quite get under it. Another point for Nordic. Remy Waugh back to serve for the Le Rouge. And that ball goes long. Second year setter Dante Wilson back to serve for the Cougars. Barcelona gets a roll shot down the line. Another roll shot right to the pot. Picked up by Steele to mix him. It's, he can't quite tip that over. Balls into the tape and point for Le Rouge. Alex Stone back to serve. Goes out to Zane Dick and he just tips it, but picked up by LaRouge. Goes to the right side. That's we mate from the right side off the block and down. Halkett with a great pass, goes right side to Barcelona. Now left side to St. Dick, they give a free ball over to Le Rouge. Goes middle to Clark, but he is all over that net, a little bit tight. It's a violation and Cougars point. Noah Barcelona to serve for the Cougars. Right side, that's a good swing. Cougars pick it up, get a free ball out of it. Goes left side. That's we mitt from the left side. Again, off the block and down. Mark 
Grant back serve for Les Rouges. Halkett, good pass. They go middle. But Clark gets the block on McSimmons. Grant to serve again. Barcelona pass out to left side and steal. They get a block but recover. Right side to Dick, he rolls it down the line. Their libero picks it up easily. We met. He's got our blockers numbers just off hands and out. It's a really tough ball to defend off hands. Grant still serving. Oh. Halkett tried to dip low and pass that ball overhand. A bit too low to recover. It's an ace for Grant. He's still back at the line serving. Le Rouge is closing the gap a little bit. There's a present for the Cougars. McSimmons back to the line to serve. That ball goes out the sideline, point Le Rouge. And Clark back to serve. Austin Seal passed that ball, gets some recovery. Just a little roll shot. They force the middle. That's a good ball, good transition by Les Rouges and Remy Waugh in the middle. But head official Ken Tate has a good vantage point up there on the stand. He says that ball is in. Zane Dick back to the line. He puts that ball long and Le Rouge back to the line. Noah we met. Passed by Barcelona. Dante Wilson delivers a quick ball to Gertzen in the middle. It's a good run by the Cougars and Austin Steele back serve. It goes right side backcourt. I believe that was Wimei from the right side. In the back court. Nordic to serve for Le Rouge. The ball goes into the net. Spreads that lead to four. Brad Gertzen back to serve for the Cougars. Try to force that middle. Good touch by Barcelona on the defense. Remy Watt and their setter, Alex Stone, couldn't quite connect on that one, and it's a point for the Cougars. Gertzen still serving. Questionable call there, but that ball was long, and Le Rouge take another timeout.
Matt Gertzen serving for the Cougars after the timeout. Goes right side and a free ball to the Cougars. Left side to Barcelona. That is a solo block by Alex Stone. Sometimes players get excited when they have a one-on-one. -on -one. They try to drill that ball at the tape and the result is a block. Remy Waugh back to serve for Les Rouge. Ball goes into the tape.
Masters Athletic Conference home openers for the Assiniboine Community College Cougars versus Les Rouge. Cougars just took the first set. Looks like the lineups are relatively the same. Les Rouge have a short bench, not a ton of depth to be able to make changes, and Cougars look like they want to repeat and take the second set. Dante Wilson back to serve. Good try middle to Clark. Is there a touch? A touch is called. I believe on McSimmons at the net there. Point Le Rouge. Mark Grant serving for Le Rouge. Side to Zane Dick, but he puts that ball off the block and out of bounds. Noah Barcelona heading back serve for the Cougars. Left side, no touch on the Cougars. That's four contacts. Barcelona serving for the Cougars again. It's a good serve. Nordic just puts that ball in play. Outside to Austin Skill. On an angle, but covered. Clark tries to put it away. Dante Wilson picked it up. Austin Steele is slowing things down. Clark delivers outside to Nordic. He is not happy about that one. Wants that back. Just hitting it a bit low to the tape. This coach will be giving him feedback high and deep. And Barcelona serves again. It's a good serve, puts him out of system. Nordic still drilling it at the tape a bit. Zane Dick gets an overpass. Bit of a party ball, puts that one away. Le Rouge trying to slow things down here, get their groove back. It goes outside to Nordic. Into the midst of Zane Dick. Noah Barcelona still serving. He's a Vincent Massey. High school and Brandon, hometown boy. Miscommunication, Le Rouge give over a free ball. Wilson delivers it right side to Zane Dick. Cranked on that ball, cross court. Forcing Le Rouge to take another time. Clark back to serve for Le Rouge. 
as Wa and Chartier exchange. Well, barrels and middles change out. One is an offensive or at the net specialist in blocking, and the other is a defensive specialist in the backcourt. Clark misses that serve, and McSimmons to the line for the Cougars. Nordic can't handle that one. He's, might be taken out here. We are going to see a substitution with Benoit Bisson. Stone tries to force that middle. They do cover, give the Cougars a free ball. Wilson also forces the middle for a kill. It was Brad Gertson out of the middle for the Cougars? And McSimmons to serve. He misses that one. Giving some breath to the Le Rouge. We met back to serve. For Le Rouge. Goes outside to steal. Kept alive by Le Rouge. Just a tip. Kept alive again. And that ball takes the sideline. Back to serve for Le Rouge. It's a tight ball. Put down by Remy Wa. Little flick block at the net there on an overpass. Le Rouge getting a little bit of momentum here. Wilson sets the middle and Gertsen, another flip block. <laughs> Official Ken Tate says Remy Wall was on the net, just touched the tape there. You only have to nick it for it to be a violation and it is a point for the Cougars. Zane Dick back to serve. Just out the sideline for Bisson. Zane Dick still serving. Zane Dick is a second year student. He is taking aviation management through the college. And he gets an ace. Dick is from Rapid City, Manitoba, and attended Elton Collegiate. Dom tried to put that over. Defensive play. Austin Steele tried to just make a shot down the line, but that went wide. Point Le Rouge. This is Benoit Bisson, back to serve for Le Rouge. And that ball trickles over, but goes out the sideline. Austin Steele to serve for the Cougars. Returns that favor for Le Rouge. Remy Waugh back to serve. deep float and Dante Wilson it's a front row setter he just turns and slams that ball down a two-handed setter dump you don't see that often in men's volleyball but it was effective 
And Brad Gertzen back to line to serve. He saw him with a good pass. Clark. Clark with a 51 in the middle, delivered by Doan. And Doan serving for Le Rouge. A ball trickles over. Puts the Cougars in trouble. They cannot return it. Doan with an ace. And Dante Wilson tries it again, but this time pushing deep. Le Rouge pick it up. Nice dig by Zane Dick. It goes left side, that's a tight ball. Not much you can do on that. Noah Barcelona tries to push it off the block, but gets stuff blocked on the left side there. Noah, we mate with the block, and Doan back serve for Le Rouge. Wilson tried to force the middle a little bit on that, but ball's not quite high enough. It goes into the net. Doan still serving. Le Rouge on a run. They're only trailing by three. And to Noah Barcelona, just a little cut shot picked up by Grant. Back to Grant. Big stuff block by Dante Wilson. Dante Wilson back to serve. We have a bit of blood. Justin Helkett must have caught someone else, fingernail or something. Just need to clean this up. Never safe to play with blood. Number three. What? Interruption. This is just a bit of a delay of game. Hopefully we'll get this cleaned up quickly and back into the match. Justin Halkett, who's getting his finger looked at here. He is a libero. He's also a communications engineering technology student from Brochet, Manitoba. I want to give a shout out to all of our athletic therapists. Ours is Kelly Svisoski, and she is fantastic. Now the Cougars do have two liberos. You are allowed to designate two liberos and they can interchange at any point. I believe that's what Suchuk and Coach Ashfield are discussing. And here is Josh Lintot heading into the game. He is the second designate libero. So Lintot into the game for Halkett. Halkett is able to sub back into the game at any point. You don't need to call a sub out or a sub to put in a libero. They are just have to do it in between plays or in between serves. So Dante Wilson back serve. Into the middle to Clark. Lintot with the dig. And Barcelona, I think, trying to go for hands there, but didn't catch them. It goes out the sideline into the audience and Point Le Rouge. The ball's in the net and Point Cougars. Noah 
Paul Barcelona back to serve. That's a great pass. But four contacts we made puts that one into the net. No touch at the block. Point Cougars. his hands and out. And we've just got down official Suchuk discussing the substitution back in. I believe Hulk gets ready to go back into the match. Austin Steele tries a rolly down the line, but it goes long. And Clark is still serving for Le Rouge. Wilson tries the right side. Zane Dick, that ball goes out the sideline angle to hit. He took a good swing on it, but it does go long and wide. Clark still serving. Wilson ties Dick again. This time he swings line and Clark can't handle it in the backcourt. That hits the roof. Point Cougars. Simmons to the line for the Cougars. We saw with the little rolly that scores right to the pot. I think there was a bit of a miscommunication on the Cougars' end. Who is going to take that ball? And we may back to the line for Le Rouge. And that ball goes out the sideline. Right side, Zane Dick to the line. Good defense by the Cougars and good run by Waugh in the middle there. There's a dump by Dolan picked up. Oh. Austin Steele has a down the line shot, but Le Rouge cannot return it. Cougars are five points away from their second set victory. Force the middle. Wah can't score. With a tip down the line, Le Rouge is celebrating that one as Remy Wa, the middle, back set the ball for the point. Line's judge says that ball is just long. Austin Steele to the line. This ball goes outside to Grant. Dug up by Halkett. Cougars give a free ball. Try in the middle. Remy Waugh with a sort of a throw tip back to zone one for a point. Remy Wall back to serve. Yeah. 
Goes outside to Barcelona, just a little roll shot right into the middle. Those can be confusing because a lot of people could touch it and when you're all moving in towards each other, you hesitate and that's what happened. Noah Barcelona scored that point. And Brad Gertsen backs the line. Good pass by Bisson, outside to Grant. And setter Dante Wilson with a solo block. Forcing Le Rouge into their second timeout. Two points to victory for the Cougars in this set. so he sent it long. Point, or er, game point here for the Cougars. That ball was questionable. Ken Tate let it go. Cougars in the middle, but dug up by Bisson. Grant with a little roll shot. Flick blocked that overpass down. Coach Ashfield not super happy about that receive, but the rule is if it's one motion, it's not considered a double contact. It could have questionably been called a carry. We've got Alex Stone serving for the Rouge. Still game point for the Cougars. And Noah Barcelona, roll shot down the line to take the second set, 25-19.
same lineup as the second set here. Cougars haven't made a change, and it looks like Buisson is still in for Nordic on Les Rouges. Les Rouges will start us off serving here. It's Alex Stone at the line. Barcelona into the middle but to make Simmons but great pick up by Chartier. And they convert with Grant on the outside. Pass by 
by Halkett. Roll shot by Steele, picked up by Le Rouge, forcing the middle. It's a back row attack by Dick. And that's off hands, great coverage. Good touch on the defense by Zane Dick and a little push over the net to score from Grant, or sorry, uh, Dante Wilson. to force that back and give us a free ball here. Noah Barcelona makes no mistakes on that. Great set by Dante Wilson. Maybe notice the confusion on the Rouge side and delivered that ball out. So there was no block really for Barcelona. Just a little tip by Bisson. It's a back row attack. Really just a roll shot. It's his own one. He scores for Austin Seal. still serving for the Cougars. That goes outside, that's a tight ball. Dante Wilson sort of coming down at the same time as the ball. It's a tough ball to play, but scores for Le Rouge. And Benoit Bisson serving for Le Rouge. Pushed outside to Barcelona. Off the foot of Bisson. But off into the walls here. It's a great shot by Noah Barcelona. If he can find that seam or get a one on one, it's pretty effective. Got a good vertical, swings high. And we've got Brad Gertzen at the line. for the Cougars. Wilson is a back row setter right now, so he cannot cross the plane of the net. 
when he is back row. So he jumped to kind of fake that set, but Le Rouge block was ready. Got that point. Good defensive play. Good touch of the net by Le Rouge. Saint Dick got that off the block. That's a pipe ball. Back row pipe ball to Noah Barcelona. Catches Le Rouge on their heels. And Point Cougars. McSimmons to serve. Cover, give a free ball to the Cougars. Back to the middle, Brad Kurtzen gets that kill. Mick Simmons still serving. for the Cougars. And Buisson back to serve for Les Rouges. It's a good float. Halkett just puts it up. 
Trouble ball outside. Picked up by Chartier. And Grant goes off the block of Dante Wilson and Brad Gertson and out of bounds. Austin Steele gets an overpass. Raw tries to flick block it down, but a little too far down. Stays on the side of his net. Unforced error there. And a present for the Cougars. Brad Gertson to the back line. shot and raw back to the line it's a decent pass by Halkett goes a sea ball to Zane Dick again back court that ball goes long Dante Wilson back to serve for the Cougars. He is also a Brandon boy, graduated from Vincent Massey. Outside to Grant, picked up by Wilson. Right side to Zane Dick, he pushes that right into the block. Just pins it between the blockers and the net. And Le Rouge take another timeout. Cougars four points away from the third set and the match. Wilson serving for the Cougars. Got a five point spread, four points to set and match. Grant Wilson with a big swing, but handled by Austin Steele. Justin Halkett had a great back set there. Picked up by Le Rouge. Halkett again, but Zane Dick is called on the net. And a point for the Cougars. serving for Le Rouge. I think uh, Halkett had a little bit of confidence that ball would be out and it just landed in. Bottom dropped out of it. It's a good serve by Doan. shot there. Wasn't in the best position. And Mark Grant again from the left side. Halkett tried to take that overhand. It's a tough ball on attack like that. Couldn't get enough height on it. Oh, that's a, that's a big miss serve from Doan. The Rouge brought it within two points and give the Cougars an edge here with Barcelona back at the line. Great pass by Chartier. Oh, good get by Barcelona. And
and Austin Steele with a roll shot that goes long out the end line. Captain Mark Grant serving for Le Rouge. Puts that ball in. Good pass by Barcelona outside to Steele. He takes a rip on it. Good cross court shot. Brings Cougars within two points of the set. And Mick Simmons back to serve for the Cougars. Good pass by Cherche. Right side. We may can't put that away. Walks on both sides of the net by the Cougars. Zane Dick and Brad Gertzen out here. And Le Rouge will have a substitution. It's late. Just trying to do a bit of a delay a game. Try and get Simmons out of his rhythm here. And that ball goes right side to we make right side again Zane Dick puts the ball away pins it between the blockers gives the Cougars a three set straight match win 25-20 in the final set it was a good night for the Cougars three sets straight from the men's and the women's we will see you guys again tomorrow at noon and two o'clock for the rematches